today, Charlotte City Councilors will get to see video of the body worn camera showing a different perspective of this controversial arrest. It happened November 13th outside Bojangles on Arrowwood Road. And our Mary Calkins is live from CMPD headquarters with more on what has happened in the month since. Mary? Well, Mary, although part of this case is over, there is still an internal investigation happening here at CMPD into the officer's actions the day of the arrest. Now, police say this all started when Christina Pierre and Anthony Lee were smoking marijuana. As an officer trying to arrest Pierre, they say she resisted. Several bystanders recorded video of those next moments where an officer punched and kicked her several times, targeting a specific nerve to get Pierre to comply. Now, her attorney says the footage did not show the moment an officer punched Pierre in the face, which police say happened after she punched an officer twice in the face. Although CMPD said the substance Pierre was smoking tested positive for marijuana, Pierre's attorney said the two were smoking a legal substance called THCA, which she says she legally bought at a smoke shop. Now, we told you almost two weeks ago the district attorney dropped all charges against the pair. Here's what CMPD Chief Johnny Jennings said about the body-worn camera video the day after that arrest. The body-worn camera footage, particularly when they're on the ground, tells more of the story than what the uh, footage that you see from a distance. It's really irregular that CMPD ever wants that released. They usually um, don't ever want that footage released, but that it footage shows my client's emotions after being wrongfully detained and wrongfully arrested, and that's personal. Now, last week, a judge agreed to release that video. Now, tonight, city councilors, they're going to get to watch that video in a closed session. We're going to be there at the open part, and we're going to be able to ask them questions about what their reaction is to that video. Tomorrow, it will be released to the public. Reporting live in Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV, on your side.